pick this up. Button. Say hi. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Ellie. How are you today? Good. You? Very well, thank you. So, where are you from? I'm from New York City. And where do you live now? In New York as well. Oh, what about you? Great. Typically in New York. I'm actually in California for another week, but I live uh, on the Upper West Side. Oh, me too. On 98th oh. Street. Where do you live? 88. Oh. <laughs> Well, if Neighbor. you see me in the neighborhood, say hi. <laughs> I will. <laughs> How did you first become interested in food? I was born hungry. <laughs> 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 I just That's always that. loved food from the very beginning. And um, I, start, I studied nutrition in college. Um, and then I just got swept into the whole world of culinary nutrition. And I, I, I love it. It's, I'm meant to be here. <laughs> What is your culinary point of view? I mean, I'm a nutritionist, so my culinary point of view is finding the sweet spot where delicious and healthy meet, and that you can have it both ways. Um, you don't have to sacrifice flavor for, for health. Now, please tell me a little bit more about your show. So my new show is on public television. It's called Ellie's Real Good Food, and we're shooting the second season. It's starting to air in September. Um, and so, and that is all about, you know, practical ways to just eat wonderful food that's delicious and good for you. And what is your most recent cookbook? And my most recent cookbook, with just, which just won the James Beard Award, P.S. Oh, congratulations. You know, is um, You Have It Made, and it's uh, delicious, healthy, do-ahead meals. Great. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, I love to... I do yoga. I read novels. I like to go for hikes and be outdoors. And where can people learn a little bit more about you? Um, elliekrieger.com is my website. So, now what's so special about olive oil? Oh, gosh. Well, talk about the sweet spot where delicious and healthy meat. I mean, olive oil is right there in that sweet spot. And what, I think there's a lot of confusion around olive oil. I get a lot of questions about it, so I'm really excited to be here today to kind of like clarify some of those things. First of all, there's two main kinds of olive oil. There's extra virgin olive oil, which has tons of flavor, really rich, beautiful flavor. It adds so much flavor to food. And it's almost like wine in that different varieties or different blends from different regions have different flavor profiles. And so it's really fun to taste different kinds and, and sort of experiment and explore. Um, and extra virgin olive oil, because of its great flavor, is wonderful for finishing dishes, for dipping, for, for dressings. But you can also cook with it. it um, you can saute with it. You can bake with it. Um, and so it's important to point that out, because most people don't realize that. The other kind of olive oil is regular olive oil. And that is also often labeled as pure olive oil or classic olive oil, for example. And that has um, a more neutral flavor. And uh, it's more economical, typically. It's, so it's great to cook with it if you're going to you know, use a lot for cooking. Um, so I use that for grilling, for example. And as we get into the grilling season, um, that's really important to keep in mind that you can grill with uh, regular olive oil. Um, you can also roast with it. It's perfect for roasting. Um, so it's imparting less flavor to food. It takes an even higher heat than, uh, than the extra virgin. And, but the important thing also is that all olive oil, its primary fat is monounsaturated, and that's a great uh, heart-healthy fat. So any oil, olive oil that you buy is going to have that monounsaturated fat. Extra virgin has the extra benefit of also having antioxidant power. So you're getting just a win-win all the way around. And with the extra virgin, you're kind of getting that double whammy. Now, what is the North American Olive Association? Yeah, so the North American Olive Oil Association, um, essentially they test olive oils, um, have been testing olive oils for 25 years, and have found 98% of the olive oils on the market are authentic olive oils. So they're, they look out for quality of olive oil. And they also have a seal, the NA. OOA, it's a red quality seal, which just gives an extra assurance that you're getting the best quality olive oil um, in that bottle. Um, and so um, they also, there's a website uh, where they have lots of information about oliveoil.org. 
Um, and they have my recipes on there and tons of information about olive oil. You know, one thing, Michelle, I wanted to uh, make sure I, I ta talked about is the way you store olive oil. Because I think a lot of people don't do it right. They keep it by the stove. Um, they keep it in the light. They don't put a cap on it. And those are all no-nos. It's all going to degrade the quality of your oil. So you want to make sure that you keep it in a cool, dark place and screw the cap on tight. Make sure that it's tightly sealed. Or if it's a, t uh, a cap like that, just make sure it's tightly sealed. And then you're going to be able to have that olive oil at the best possible quality. Now, are there anything, any recipes that you'd like to show us? Yeah, so I have a couple of great recipes here. And each of them I do, um, essentially, I use both kinds of olive oil. So this is a farro salad. Um, that's like a whole grain, uh, ancient grain. You could use quinoa here if you want also or instead. Um, anyway, cook that and cool it. And then I grill up some vegetables. So here it's zucchini and onions. But before I grill them, I put some regular olive oil on and grill it up like that so it stays nice and moist. Toss that together with some fresh tomatoes and, and uh, herbs and then some lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil for the dressing. And then mm, it comes together, yummy. it's so good. It comes together like this, just beautiful, maybe with some grilled chicken or grilled fish on top. And then I have the savory yogurt plate with roasted radishes, which are awesome. I roast them with the regular olive oil, um, cucumbers, mint, uh, a little lemon zest. And then I finish it with the extra virgin. So that's kind of shows you why you sh it's great to keep both on hand and you get all the benefits. Now, can people substitute olive oil for butter? Yes. You can totally substitute olive oil for just about any fat in your recipe. So um, for butter, you want to substitute 25% uh, less olive oil than you would use butter. So if it's one cup of butter, you, want, you would use uh, three quarters of a cup of olive oil. But yeah, absolutely. And if you use extra virgin, you're going to get that rich flavor. But if you want a more neutral flavor, you can use the uh, regular olive oil. Or there's also something that's often labeled light tasting olive oil. And that's great because it's really neutral in flavor. Do you have any tips for buying olive oil? Yeah, when you're buying it, you know, only buy as much as you think you're going to use in a two to three month period. And make sure you look at the sell by date. There's a sell by date on every bottle. So make sure you go, um, you know, with the furthest out sell by date. Well, where can we learn more about this? Yeah, so go to aboutoliveoil.org, and you can get these recipes. You can get lots more information. Check out the blog there. A lot of great information on the blog. All right, well, wonderful. Well, thank you for all this great information, and best of luck to you and everything. Thanks, Michelle. I appreciate your having me. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.